Some people have been interested in how to build their item in Blender 2.59 and rig it in Blender 2.49. In the older days of Mesh Beta and Second Life, you had to use a workaround if you wanted to build in 2.5 and rig in 2.49 because at that time SL Uploader didn't recognize rigs that came out of 2.5. Today, thankfully, you can rig and build your model completely in 2.59, the official one from the blender.org site, and you're good to go. However, if you're making specialty avatars like say tinies or animal avatars that need joint offsets, you will need to use 2.49 right now. And luckily, it's very easy to get files in between the, the two programs. So first, I'm going I want to select my item and then I want to give it a name. You can name it here in the transform sidebar right here or you can name it here under the object tab. So give it something recognizable so that you can find it in the next step. And then just save the file like you normally would. I saved it as bodice39.blend. Now you just open up Blender 2.49 and as a side note, this kind of thing is easiest to do to have different blenders on your computer if you use the zip installers instead of the exec installers. And I'm definitely talking about people on Windows here. It's a lot easier if you use zip files instead of the, ins the exec installers. And if you want to know how to do that, I have a video on my channel about blender installs. So you might want to check that out. Okay, so back to this, you want to go to File, Append or Link. Make sure Append is checked. And at this point, let me go back to the beginning because I've already been in there. At this point, you want to find the file that you just saved. Okay, I'm going to click this so I can bring the blend files up to the top here. And here is my file, bodice 39 blend. And now you have these different options. We want to go to objects. Then we want to find our item, which I named bodice LOD3 in the other file. Then go load library. Now I have my bodice. I can tab to go into edit mode. I can edit it just like I would do anything else and I can rig it and do whatever I needed to do with it here and save it out so that's one option another option is to save this out as the generic object format so I'll go here file export Wait for an object. Make sure to click click selection only. I also like to click keep vertex order. This isn't necessary, but I like to do this just because at some point I might want to make a morph target and you need the vertex order to be exactly the same if you're going to do something with morphs. So just in case I do that in the future, I always click keep vertex order and it doesn't hurt. So export that. Now, using the object method, you can bring this object file into any program that you wanted to bring it in that supports wavefront objects. And obviously, Blender does as well. So now I want to go to import wavefront object. Then I want to find my object. The clamp scale, you want to turn that down to zero. You can leave the rest as default. You usually have to come in and set smooth to get the smooth again. And there you go. You can edit it and rig it just like you normally would. 
And that's it for this video. See you next time.